Gen Z, Gen Z's have actually been able uh, to corner the president and among one of the objective uh, which was to stop or make the finance bill 2027 to be drawn was achieved and they have gone a step further and actually made the president not to use the conventional ways of uh, actually communicating or deliberating on matters in the society. So Gen Z have, are actually shaping the nation and uh, tomorrow the president has released uh, a poster whereby the whole nation will be on Twitter to communicate and deliberate on uh, the issues that are facing the nation. Remember, the president at some point had actually suggested that there would be or there should be a multi-sectoral or a multi multilateral, something like that, uh, uh, dialogue whereby there were people to be picked from different professions, different sectors, and different departments, including religion, uh, to go and represent uh, the grievances of the particular group and to try and solve uh, the issues that are affecting the nation. But Gen Z were adamant and they refused. They say no dialogue. And uh, this is based on the fact that the previous dialogue have not really been instrumental in giving or providing results, but only few individuals were benefiting. Let's even start with just the recent dialogue where there was a bipartisan dialogue between the opposition and the government. The proposals that were reached between the government and the uh, opposition have not been actually actualized. In fact, among them is constitution of IBC, which still is on the radar of the Gen Z. So uh, in this video, I want us to assess uh, this uh, uh, deliberation that will happen tomorrow and try to anticipate what will actually uh, be there. We also look at the implication of that in uh, the nation at large. Now, if you are new to our channel, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that we can continue creating a bigger family of the Socrato TV. Remember, at the Socrato TV, we discuss, explore, and discover the hidden stories shaping our political landscape. Now, let's dive into the today's topic. The, pre the, the president of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, has been actually accepting many things that the Gen Z's are putting on the table and I believe or I think that the president has realized that he is not able to deal with this young generation people the way he was dealing or the way the previous regimes of the president was dealing with the previous regimes and I can clearly see that the Gen Z's are the ones who are controlling the, that chessboard and now the president is just reacting on their moves and the fact that he has considered to talk on them or, or through them on Twitter. And remember, there's a video at least whereby the, these Gen Z's who are, the same Gen Z's who are now refusing it means that the president is actually feeling the heat. And I think it is a good step towards uh, actually actualizing the dreams of these people. Remember, the Gen Z's uh, reason for not accepting dialogue whereby uh, to go and meet in state house or such kind of venues was informed from the fact that most of people who go to dialogue uh, in the name of leaders usually end up being bribed and compromised in the sense that they fail to represent the grievances of the people and only go to, uh, ach to, to make uh, their a egocentric self-interest to be met. So, Gen Z's, if you are a Gen Z anywhere in the Republic of Kenya, I want to congratulate you for making the president uh, actually do uh, the right thing. And uh, the, fa the, the fact that this is now uh, happening on space, that is on Twitter, it also uh, brings what is called a paradigm shift in the sense that in future times when the president will be having such kind of communication, when he want to engage people, uh, this will be uh, a good platform where the president will be engaging uh, uh, the people in the society. And you, you will see in the future even political parties or any other gathering uh, using X, that is space platform, to communicate their agenda. And I think it is a good step. In fact, it's very transparent and there is nothing to be hidden. It is a, a way whereby each and every person can be given an opportunity to present their grievances 
without any uh, favoritism. So uh, as much as I, there are a number of individuals who do not support the idea, who have been calling that the president should not the, the people should not accept to join there. I think it will be fair enough at least to give the president a, an opportunity or a chance to discuss with people. I don't think it will be right just to refuse everything. Eh? That will look like more like a game and it will not really make us achieve anything. What The president, we say the president called for dialogue, we refuse dialogue. We say we want to talk on space. He's saying we, we should talk on... He has accepted or considered we talking on space. Then we are again refusing. We don't want to give him an opportunity. I don't think that is logical. And I, for the first time, I appreciate that. But that does not mean that I am saying that now the president has turned out to become an angel or a good person. What will be discussed there, the conclusions that will be reached, and the agendas that... Uh, will be pushed during that conversation is what will actually make me uh, make the decision or conclusion of whether the president has actually been able to understand this young generation or not. And tomorrow I will also be very available and give you uh, my output in regard to that, how the conversation will have gone and the uh, things that I will have picked out in that conversation. Remember, here at the Socrates TV, we are always available to inform you about all things that are happening in a very objective way without being biased. Remember, I still hold the fact that up to now, I don't believe that the president has been able to understand the Gen Z's. But based on how that conversation will end, I will still, maybe, if based on how he will communicate, I will either change my mind or just maintain the fact that the president will not have understood uh, these young people. So as I end this conversation, I want to emphasize that you need to stay curious, stay critical, and stay thoughtful. Until we meet again, bye-bye.